We're going to smoke a duck today. I'm going to make a plum glaze, a plum sauce to go with it. And I'll show you a second way to serve them up, duck tacos. A couple of videos ago, I asked folks what they wanted to see. Kevin No, Brian at Smoked Rib Barbecue, Daddy McPappy, Dan Redder, and TNS Girl 74 all asked for us to do a duck. Today we're doing it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you stay with me. I've got one Donald Duck here, 6.25 pounds. Now, a lot of folks, when they smoke a duck, they'll come in here with a lot of fat, right? A lot of fat. And they poke all these miniature holes using a needle or corn cob end or whatever they have that's sharp. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. What I like to do is score the duck. Now, you just want to cut through the fat you don't want to cut down in the meat. And what this does is while this duck is smoking, it lets this fat render off. So you'll want a fairly sharp knife for this. You don't want to be sawing because sawing's going to get you down into the meat. And for those of you who watch my channel, you know I'm horrendous at having a sharp knife, but I actually sharpened this one <laughs> ahead of time. And now I'm going to come back this way. Just do a little, little diamond pattern. Not too hard so far, right? I'm going to turn this bad boy around. Caught a stick of rosemary here. I'm going to shove up in it. I've got an orange that I've quartered up. Put whatever you want up in here, right? You're just hoping to get some aromatics and some additional flavor up in that cavity. I actually have a half of an onion. It was probably um, that big around. And one orange. And I think actually it's all going to fit in here. Perfectly. Just like so. Now what I'm going to do is come in here with these legs and tie them up like so. Got a piece of string here. And as I've mentioned many times before, I envy you folks that know how to tie these like a butcher. It's awesome. I don't know how to do it. So I just do these little simple things. Got her duck all trussed up, sliced up. Let me get that glove off. Now, I need something for a binder. And ironically, I'm going to use duck fat. Just get both sides. Now I'm going to put a barbecue rub on it. I'm going to use Armadillo Pepper Signature Barbecue Rub. You don't have this? No sweat. Get your favorite barbecue rub and season your duck up. If you want to learn more about this rub, I'll put a link. Uh, I think it's up here in this corner. And if you're on YouTube, I'll put a link down in the description box where you can go read more about it. Now, it probably goes without saying, but you know, the duck, just like a turkey, it came with the neck and giblet organ stuff inside. I took all of that out, discarded it. You can see I got into the meat a little bit there, got a little uh, sloppy with my cutting. Yeah, you can see we got her seasoned up. Now, I wanted to let this duck just sit here and get happy for 10 or 15 minutes. Let me show you how we got this uh, pellet grill set up. I've got this pellet grill set on 300 degrees. It's running 310. The reason you want to cook a little bit hotter is again, you want to render that fat off the duck. If you cook down like at 225, you're going to have a hard time getting that fat off. Now our duck's been sitting here. Just going to get that bad boy in here. I've got a temp probe here. 
took me forever to find it, but I'll... there we go. We're going to get the lid down on this guy. We'll check on it maybe an hour just to see what the color looks like. I'm expecting this cook to take uh, somewhere between two and a two and a half hours. We'll see. One hour. Let's have a look at the duck. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous color. You can see the fat's rendering off. I got the feeling this is going to be awesome. Now I'm going to bring this on up to about 160, 162. It's not like cooking a medium rare or rare duck breast. I've got six plums here that I uh, cut up. Unfortunately, they're not those nice red purple ones on the inside. It's all the grocery store had. So I'm going to add in, there's a third a cup here, but I'm not going to add it all. About a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. And then I've got some fresh ginger here. You can see the size of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little slices. About the size of a penny. Let me get these two plums out of the way. Here I've got a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. Uh, I think this ended up being two, three green onions. And what I want to do, or what I aspire to do, is cook these plums down and get some of that juice and goodness out of them. I've got this burner on medium. Now I'm going to pour some honey that I heated up in the microwave. I know, I know, it kills all the whatever medicinal properties. I'm looking for the flavor. And that was probably two to three tablespoons. And then, by the way, the inspiration for this video, I'll put a link below. I found it on the internet. Quite a few people made these plum sauces. I thought this one looked really cool. Now, mine's a little different, but, uh, you know, I did, did get the basis of the idea of it. And I'll put that link in the video. And here what I've got is some Japanese 7 Spice. In the video I saw they used Chinese 5 Spice, no issue. I'm going to put about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. He has probably been 8 to 10 minutes. You can see the plum is starting to break down. Now what I'm going to do is just remove these big pieces of uh, the onion. You're just trying to get the flavors infused to this sauce. I'll take it inside, blend it up, and then bring it back here and simmer it some more. Got it all blended up. Now I've got, uh, it's just a little too thick for me for a glaze. I've got a third of a cup of water. Of course I poured some of it out. I like my glaze to be just a little bit thin. Now I had a third of a cup and I used about half of a third of a cup. Just a tad bit more. And then to finish this, it's going to make it go over the top, but it's optional if you don't want to do it. Let me get this burner back on. A little Kentucky bourbon. This bourbon and these plums, it's going to be awesome. There's one shot. And if you heat it up like I'm doing it, theoretically the alcohol burns off. But I take no uh, responsibility for that. And I'm going to put one more shot in. Yeah, those are Jeff shots. So, <laughs> smells so good. Now, if you want your glaze to be just pitcher perfect, you could strain it. I'm going to let this go. Let me just taste it. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to let this go about 10 minutes, 12 minutes, just so this bourbon gets a chance to cook off the alcohol a little bit and get all the flavors married together. 
Now this is the duck sauce. I did end up straining this side. You can see just to glaze the duck. That way it just gives it a nicer look for the YouTube video. In terms of flavor, makes no difference. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. Look at that duck. We're up to 155. Just going to brush that plum sauce, plum glaze on here. Look at the color on this duck, will you? Let's get a nice coat all over it. Now, if you're worried about those wings getting too dark, you can cover them with foil. I could care less. And I'm sorry if you're getting an elbow shot there. This is a butternut squash for my vegan daughter. Here she is. She's been resting here 15-ish minutes. Got beautiful color. Still pretty hot. Just going to slice a piece off here so you can see it. Oh yeah, look at that. Seems to be really tender. Let me cut off a bite-sized piece. And we're going to give it a try with that plum sauce and bourbon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Full of flavor right there. And moisture. Really, really moist. And let me show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to show you another way to eat this duck. You can see I'm slicing it really thin. Look what I've got here. A corn tortilla. We're going to put a little of that duck on here. I hope you can see that. Probably got a little bit too much. Let me scoot it over. Show you what I've got here. I've got some slicely thin radishes. I got some pickled red pepper. I got some pickled Vidalia onions. Here I got some hatch chilies. And so we got some more pickled relish there, but I think we've got enough duck taco. fit for a king, if I do say so myself. Mm. The radish, oh my gosh, the radish gives it the crunch. That delicious plum sauce, sweetness, the spice from the Japanese, seven spice, five spice, whatever it was, not a lot, but you get it in the background. Look at that. Skin on this stuff is perfect. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, uh, appreciate all you viewers suggesting we do a duck recipe. Well worth the energy and time. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.